A bipolar transistor is a semiconductor device having three outputs, an emitter, a collector, and a base. The basis of a bipolar transistor is formed by two p-n junctions. Depending on the positional relationship of the p-n junctions, transistors are divided into p-n-p and n-p-n types. If a voltage is supplied to the emitter and collector, the transistor will not conduct the current. It means it will be closed. For the transistor to open and conduct the current, the transistor base is to be supplied with the control potential to set the base current. By regulating this potential and accordingly the low base current, you can control a high current flowing through the transistor, collector and emitter. A current gain, which is the ratio of collector current to the base current, is one of the main characteristics of a transistor. As the emitter current equals the collector current plus base current, we see that the lower the base current, the better. Consequently, the higher the current gain, the higher the transistor quality. Let us use this circuit to see how the current is amplified. The rheostat slider is in its top position. A positive potential is at the transistor base. The transistor is closed. The collector and base currents are close to zero. And the lamp is off. Keeping track of the milliampere meter pointer, we smoothly move the rheostat slider until the lamp lights up. The base current is no more than 3 milliampere, though about 200 milliampere are needed for the lamp lighting up. That is, by controlling a low base current, we are able to control a high collector current. This is the current amplifying function of the transistor. We hope that this short report helps you learn in the transistor and how it amplifies various electrical parameters.